Sports betting in Florida, more than halfway to becoming reality. The Florida Senate approved a new gaming compact with the Seminole Tribe today. House support now is all that's needed to ratify the agreement. But opponents are pushing hard in these final moments to see that the deal goes bust. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has the details. Though some lawmakers say the deal could have been better for Florida, the upper chamber was nearly unanimous in its support, approving the deal 38 to 1. It wasn't hard to find Senate support for the compact Tuesday. This compact is going to bring in billions of dollars that we can use however we want to. The only dissent coming from St. Pete Senator Jeff Brandis. 38 yeas, one nay, Mr. President. So the bill passes. Who says the 30-year deal creates a monopoly for the tribe managing the state's mobile sports betting. Sometimes we have to say the state of Florida and portions of our economy are not for sale just to the highest bidder. And outside the Capitol. Why are they pouring sludge all over this beautiful picture? More opposition. Please be considerate of the families that, that we are trying to grow healthy families. People like Jeannie Pernia traveling eight hours to rally against the agreement worried it'll increase crime and addiction. We already have major issues with crime and, and, and all that and it's just another open door. Other concerns were constitutional. Though supporters say this is an exempt tribal agreement, some believe the deal violates Amendment 3 requiring voter approval. Obey the Constitution, abide by the will of the people, and Florida will be better for it. Ratification now hinges on the House, where a more diverse collection of lawmakers sit. Will that mean more opposition? Florida finds out later this week. We do know of at least two House members who are publicly opposed to the deal, though it is expected to again receive broad bipartisan support. We'll have to see what the final tally is, with the House expected to vote Wednesday. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.